What's up, YouTube? Clip beats, no script, off the rip. You ask, you shall receive. You said you wanted more Jimmy Carr. I got you. I got you covered. You keep subscribing, you keep liking. You're in charge of this channel. How to survive a bear attack. <laughs> what fucked up shit is he going to say? All right. Um, YouTube probably just stopped my video right there. <laughs> Put limits on my video. Uh, do me a favor. Go to Jimmy Carr's channel. Please go throw him a like. Please go subscribe. That is the most important part of this video. If you take anything away from this, even if you don't like me, make sure you subscribe to the artist and uh, show him love. That's the most important part. Fasten your seatbelt. We're going for a ride. I get ready to run. I don't know. What do you do during a bear attack? Do you run? Do you stand tall? Fuck that, dude. I'm running. I, I know they probably catch me, but I'm not just going to stand there and get eaten. Do you know what you're meant to do if you're attacked by a bear? Does anyone know? Shit's on yourself. <laughs> I never thought of that. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. No? Shit's on yourself. <laughs> I have a feeling that might be quite involuntary. <laughs> that sounds like advice given by a forest ranger trying to kind of go, well, no, that's the procedure. <laughs> I saw the bear coming at me. I thought, oh, oh, oh. I suppose you could try and piss on it. Although I think if you whipped it out in front of a bear, it would think, oh, an hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> Any other suggestions as to what to do if you're attacked by a bear? Make yourself big. Make yourself big? Yes, make yourself big. Go and grab something to eat. <laughs> Work out a little. Maybe buy one of those puffer jackets. Get back to the bear as soon as you possibly can. <laughs> He's so quick. Do you mean go like that? That's what I, I was always told you get big on the bear, but I, it's different for every bear. Like polar bears, you're fucking dead. Uh, I don't know if it's black bears or grizzly bears, but one of them, you're, you're, you're basically fucked too. They see you as food. And one of them just won't really fuck with you. I forgot. But either way, you should just get the fuck away. But uh... You're like an advert for natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> you're like an advert for natural selection. <laughs> There's a bear coming at us. Don't worry. I'll handle this. I imagine the bear would think, oh, look, Monster Munch. <laughs> monster Munch. And look, novelty food. Any other suggestions as to what to do if you're attacked by a bear? Play dead. play dead is exactly the right answer. Do you know why you're meant to play dead? It's to get used to how you're going to be in a minute. <laughs> Just so there's less mess. A snake bite isn't going to kill you. Unless, of course, you're allergic to cider. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. I like the joke about it. <laughs> like that would just be less of a mess. A snake bite isn't going to kill you unless you're allergic to cider. Just said there's less mess. A snake bite isn't going to kill you unless, of course, you're allergic to cider. <laughs> what am I missing there? There's got to be something I'm missing there. Sorry. Please forgive me. I'm trying. I'm trying. My brain's trying to work. It's not. <laughs> well, it's a joke for the goths. <laughs> Think about it. They're the ones that need cheering up. I love swearing. I've always quite... Oh, you all right? Sorry, what was that? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? For the goths, they need cheering up. Cider. Well, that's a joke for the goths. <laughs> Think about it. They're the ones that need cheering up. <laughs> I love swearing. I've always quite... Oh, you all right? Sorry. Allergic to cider? Does he mean, like, alcohol? Bring it back. Allergic to cider. <laughs> You're going to be in a minute. <laughs> Forgive me. Sometimes I, I don't know some of the lingo. Just said there's less mess. A snake bite isn't going to kill you. Unless, of course, you're allergic to cider. <laughs> Is there a cider called snake bite or something like that? Or snake something? Well, it's a joke for the goths. <laughs> Think about it. They're the ones that need cheering up. <laughs> I love swearing. I've always quite... Oh, you all right? Sorry, what was that? I missed a bit of chat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> sorry, it's not the telly. If you talk, I can hear. Now you're looking pissed off. You're thinking, I didn't press the red button, it's got all interactive. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> Go on, say. I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. You thought you <laughs> You just said I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. 
<laughs> yeah. What, what happened was... <laughs> OK, in a joke... A joke is like two stories, yeah? <laughs> and the first story makes you make an assumption about something. So the assumption people made about snakebite in, in that joke was that it was a snake biting you. But... but he, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he's explaining this because I was struggling. So there, there must, must be something in the UK or something that I'm not, that I've never heard of it. That's the setup of the joke. So you made the assumption he's talking about a snake bite, a snake biting someone. In the second part of the joke, often known as the punchline. <laughs> or the double punchline, yeah. <laughs> what, you'll, what you'll find is that rug will be, will be whipped from under you and you'll realize that the assumption you made was erroneous. <laughs> Okay. Suddenly revealing a fact that was previously concealed is, is the nature of all one-liners, Badham. So, in essence, I was talking about both snake bites, the thing that happens when a snake bites you. Double entendre, okay? That's, I, it took me a minute because I had never heard of that before. And also the drink. No problem at all, it's lovely to help. He just broke down how, how basically you set up a joke, write a joke, and explain the joke. It's actually, it's nice to have you here this evening because I think one of the charity gigs I did helped pay for the minibus that brought you here. <laughs> oh. 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 Nice to see that money wasn't wasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless her little heart. Uh, what are you making of the rest of the show? Or are you just enjoying the spangly things? <laughs> spangly. Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr. The... <laughs> that is so good. Show this man some love and go subscribe, please. The guy you just saw in that video. Thanks for watching it, because uh, somehow I get money from that. I, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. P probably, probably it filters through some sort of advert that you watched before you watched the video, maybe. Or maybe you subscribed. Anyway, thanks for watching it. And somehow that benefits me. And hopefully I'll see you at a live show at some point further down the sunny road. Good luck. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's <laughs> from Ad Revenue. He knows that. Yo, please go throw this man a uh, like. Go subscribe. Because, yeah, I was even confused with that. I mean, I knew it was a double. I just, I was like, is it a drink? I know. First off, I've been sober for seven years. Yeah, it's a buzzkill. Um, obviously, uh, it, it's been a while. I don't know if it's popular in the UK or whatnot. But, yeah, this was really good. I really wish we would have known what better to do during a bear attack during, during a bear attack all i know now is just to lay down and just take it just take it like a man just be, be welcome death uh but yeah this was good it was a short clip but i liked it a lot guys if you want more jimmy carr you know what to do just subscribe comment down below let me know what's next i'll get to your request as soon as i possibly can um that's how this works it helps my analytics out lets me know what you want more and obviously you guys love it i love it i'm into it i love the dark humor it's great um and i love how quick he is he's, not, he's a very smart intelligent man obviously but he's so quick too like he said what i missed the chat <laughs> like jumped in like this isn't a telly <laughs> so good he was like, he's like, oh, now they're mad. That was good. All right. Um, guys, have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. If you need me, don't forget to reach out. My Instagram is linked in the description down below. If you suffer from anxiety, depression, panic attacks, PTSD, addiction, anything else like that, you're fucked. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I uh I can't I can't I can't solve all your problems. I can't, I'm not a doctor, but I'm here if you just need someone to talk to. I was joking about saying you're fucked. You're not fucked. There's always people out here in the world to help you out. That was just a bad joke because now it's rubbing off on me. Thank you. Um yeah, man, just just uh, know that I'm here for you. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you or amazing artists like Jimmy Carr who allow me to react to their content. Uh, just stay safe and have a wonderful weekend. Know that you're not alone, and I love you guys. Thank you for everything, and uh, yeah, just hit me up if you need me. Sign up to the next one. Let me know what it is. Comment down below. Make sure you hit subscribe. But no matter what, make sure you subscribe to the artists. That is the most important part. Take care, guys.